Uh, okay, in this exercise, I will explain about uh, uh, basic uh, 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 basic tutorials uh, about uh, Equitect uh, to simulate and evaluate uh, the, the quality of sound in space. So here I will going to use both uh, Rhino uh, and Equitech together uh, because uh, Equitech is good, uh, but uh, kind of uh, it is much convenient and easy for you to use your own 3D modeling software. So I will explain about uh, Equitech's interface first. So there's a project, 3D editor, visualize, and analysis and report. So there are five different tabs. So basically, project is about uh, titles and descriptions, so text information. And 3D editor is where you can uh, create your own 3D geometry and visualize is Actually, you will see the, uh, your final result and analysis show some performance uh, diagram. And report is just a uh, report um, tab. And in the right side, uh, there are uh, many different tabs. Uh, here, we are going to uh, use a selection tool and probably join which is basically layer. And then this one is display setting, and we are going to mainly we are going to use is to rays and particles to simulate uh, sound acoustic in a space. And one thing you have to care about is actually unit. Uh, actually, um, unit is in user preference, and then you can uh, change millimeter, meter to inches, feet here in localization, and actually your standard here. But when I uh, use um, this Echotech 2011 version, free version, actually uh, it has a problem with uh, converting inches and millimeters. So uh, here I'm going to use millimeters for model dimension. And basically the base, the default setting is actually millimeter. And actually I will convert our model in uh, Rhino in millimeters, then actually we'll use that converted scale. So for example, let's say that we just simply start with uh, zero. So okay, we, let's first check what is your uh, default unit in uh, Rhino. So go to tools and options, then you can check units here. Now I have inches. So. I have it just now here. So now I'm starting with, uh, I've simply draw, uh, create a, make a box from zero to probably, uh, let's say, 50 feet length and then probably uh, 40 feet width and then probably um, another 40 feet height. Just for now, let's say that this one is our theater. Very uh, unrealistic, but let's just assume that this one is our. Uh, basic space and then actually what we need to do is we have to convert this unit into millimeter uh, Before you transfer it. So I'll change to I change unit in options and I change to millimeter And then okay, then actually it will ask you to scale model by 24 25.4 and yes, and it will increase the size So I will export this one as uh, I will use in I will use export selected and I will use this one, 01 box, and also file format, file type is 3D Studio. So here, and save it, and yes, and OK. So our basic box is exported. And here in Equitec, I will import it using import. There are two options, 3D CAD geometry and model analysis data. So I'm going to use 3 CAD geometry. Here, uh, you, you, you may need to change the file type into 3D Studio. And then you can select choose file to select a file and here 01 box uh, is selected and I'll open it and then simply you can open as new or import into existing I will open as new here and then I'll open as new and then do you do you want to save changes to current model and I said no so this one is our model imported so let's take a look at to see the other side click this red one uh, this one is top view, side view, and this is another side view, and this one is our three-dimensional view here. Uh, let's simply uh, double check whether uh, we import uh, right one. So I simply measure this one. So from one corner to another corner is about uh, about fifteen thousands. So let's say what is our dimension. So I simply draw uh, a line here. Or you can just simply using dimension, linear dimension, and simply click to here. Uh, actually, this one is too little. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'll just simply draw a line, and then I'll simply measure that length. So this one is about 15,000. So we, we know that this is correct a size imported. So here then, uh, what I'm going to do, I will add a source of sound, which is, uh, it look, I, will, I will click the icon, look like speaker. 
and the speaker I will locate somewhere uh, near um, uh, where uh, actors or singers will uh, the the position of the mouse of a singer or speaker. So roughly about let's say the G uh, here. Uh, this one is top view, so let's change it to side view. And let's say G is somewhere uh, fifteen thousand, which is a one point five meter around 1.6 meter this is about roughly about uh, five feet around four to f between four and five feet around and then I will kind of draw a horizontal line to the end of uh, theater and let's take let's check this one in top view so this one is not in the center so I select this so I will select it if you select it you see that uh, the arrow is highlighted with a thicker green line so using this move button uh, I will simply move it to somewhere near center. Okay, so this one roughly we have uh, our boundary surface and our source of uh, source of sound. Uh, going back to here, sound setting. Now we see that here. So next step. So the next step is to simulate acoustics. So we need uh, we need to set this one. I will select again and set as a source, sound source. So simply select it and just click it and that's it. That's all you have to do. And the roughly we are going to use default setting and what we need to do is actually generate lays. And then use, you probably see that the quick uh, progress bar button here. I will just redo that. And then actually if you increase the number of rays, actually it will give more rays and then bounce the 16 means actually it will bounce back uh, whenever it meets a surface. So to show this one, uh, there are many different options. You can see static view, rays, uh, reflector coverage, surface instance, nothing, uh, animated particles. And uh, we actually, we are going to use animated rays. And actually, this one is actually at the end. So actually, if I try again, you will see this kind of visualization. So and then if you click mouse, will control, and I'll set it back. And then you can actually, you, I'm actually scrolling down. And actually, you see that how the sound is move around space. So actually, here uh, probably you're very curious about what these colors mean. So this one says direct, useful, border, echo, reverb, and mask. And actually, the best way to understand this one is to using help and go to help topic. And I'll simply search and I type simply uh, mask to know what the ask means. And actually, there's a tutorial about uh, acoustic rays and particles. Then actually, you can read. Uh, on the bottom echo border direct what does that mean so basically masked means is at even lower relative sound levels the reflection is completely masked by the direct sound or other reflections such reflections pose no problem within the space so probably you want to you may want to minimize reverb and echo and you may kind of we want to fill the space with direct and useful so this is the kind of goal and actually you may and then actually the way you need to check also either a sectional way so I will or going back so I will change I will first click a display setting I change to section and I go back to rays and particle and actually uh, rays and particle and then click the surface again and then actually use a scroll fill bar and actually you will see that how sound is move around into space and actually you see that here is also useful but actually you will see a lot of bounce back here and then you will kind of light blue in the back which is actually reverberate reverb sound so how can we improve this one so quick easy way first sitting so what i'm going to do now in front view okay i'll continue in the next video